Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. This book changed me and inspired me in many ways. So what makes Fountainhead special? Who is Ayn Rand? And why many think it's controversial? Let's see. So before talking about Fountainhead, let's talk little bit about Ayn Rand and her philosophy. So Ayn Rand was a Russian born American writer and philosopher who introduced a philosophy called Objectivism. So what is Objectivism? According to Ayn Rand, Objectivism is a guide which tells how one should lead his life. To understand what Objectivism is, we have to understand four basic pillars of Objectivism which are 1. Reality, 2. Reason, 3. Self-Interest, 4. Capitalism. So coming to reality, Ayn Rand believed that reality is objective. She always said, universe is what it is and not what we want it to be and wishing otherwise won't change anything. For example, sun rises in the east whether you like it or not. Same goes with your suffering. Coming to reason, Ayn Rand said, reason is all we have and all we need to understand this world and there are no contradictions. For example, if you reason to believe in something, you either believe it or not believe it, but not contradict by doing both. Coming to self-interest, objectivism says that your highest moral purpose should be achieving your own happiness. As Ayn Rand says, man is end in himself. Ayn Rand believed in capitalism where government and economics are completely separate. She believed that individuals who face reality and have rational mind and make their life as highest moral purpose will demand capitalism. So coming to Fountainhead, this book is Ayn Rand's way of introducing her philosophy through a non-fictional story. The book is about an architect called Howard Rourke where he struggles to find his individualism. In a way, he is the essence of how a man should be if he is an objectivist. Basically, Ayn Rand embeds her philosophy in conversations and interactions between Rourke and other characters. So remember, it's not all about the story, it's about the conversations between Rourke and other characters. So why many think it's controversial? There are some interactions between Howard Rourke and his love interest Dominic which happen without the consent of Dominic which is direct contradiction of her philosophy. And also there are some points in book which you might find difficult and not practical in real life. But all in all this book opened my preconceived notions which I previously had and also influenced me in many ways. If you like this type of content please like, share, subscribe and comment.